Hello, hello, hello. Good morning and welcome to Art Snacks. I'm Amy Murray, Sugar Hill Art Studio, and Art Snacks is 30 minutes of just break time and getting some art in to your daily routine. My goal is to just once, you know, I come on live once a week, I want to show you how simple, easy it is to get some art into your daily routine. It doesn't have to take long. In less than 30 minutes, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to talk. Uh, sometimes I show you how to make a straight up journal. We use our journal prompts. Um, and let's just get some art journaling done. Okay. Uh, typically, Art Snacks is on Monday. I know it's a little off today. We are at a Tuesday and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I tell people all the time, they get this over in my free group. Um, and on my mailing list in the newsletter and people will say, I'm behind, I'm behind, I'm behind. And you're never behind. You're never behind in art ever. If you're being creative, that's all that matters. Okay. So if you're popping on, give me a hello. Sometimes I can't always see everything right away. I'm just going to post hi. I'm going to put that there. Remember the replay is available here and over on the tube. So you know, have fun, binge watch through Art Snacks, super fun. I'm excited today, I have my Bits box. I actually was doing some cleaning out and found a few more pieces of paper and uh, painted papers that I need to turn into more bits, but I grabbed this. We're gonna play with our Bits box in our circle journals today, and we're just gonna make some art. So let's let's go. Let me get you turned down and around and all those good things. All right. I think I'm still in beach mode. I still am in like t-shirts and my, sorry for the bumpy ride. She's just a little... My camera is like straight down, so it's a little bit of a different view. Hopefully you can see everything and I remember to keep it in view for you. All right, here is my circle journal. Again, you can go back, you can find how we made it. It's very simple, um, fun project for our 21 June art prompts. Bits box, let me kind of set it this way. There we go. Um, in here, I throw in a bunch of different pieces. So sometimes, and we did this on a um, art snack, right? You just painted papers and I made some fish. Cut them out, kept them plain, threw them in here. Uh, we've done this in art snacks, just different florals with, um, uh, oh, I just blanked on it, um, the rub off liquid with watercolors. Why am I blanking on what it's called? I don't know, but um, that's what these are, right? Oh, last year we did strawberries and apples. Um, of course, I use a lot of rainbows. We've got words. I've just got a bunch of, right? Even these little, this little exercise that we've done with watercolor and drying over, great for your bits box. Pieces of torn. Uh, under paper kind of highlighted anything just punch out some circles there's so many things in here leaves circles flowers mushrooms houses pieces of paper okay that's your bits box that's your bits box my friends and it's a great thing to have on hand um then here i've got my journal with some things done. I think this page, every time I open it, it kind of stands out to me. It was one of those extra pieces of, you know, it, it's 140 pound watercolor paper. I think I was playing. It got all messed up. I probably, I think I spilled something on it, but I didn't throw that piece of paper away. Why? Because I ended up using it. I'm always going to use those mistakes. It's never a mistake. Um, so now I have 
a circle. I added this to my circle journal and I think I'm going to use this page. Okay. So sometimes working on plain white space can be very intimidating. That's why, and you'll see, I am always kind of pushing to use some scrap papers and different things in your journals. When you're putting a little journal together, right? Art journaling is all about play. So I've got some of these pieces. And I am liking, I'm liking the contrast here. This is way too similar for me. I don't feel like working in a, in a um, analogous color scheme today. I, I want a little, I want to bounce this around a little bit. So I'm going to grab this one. Does it look exciting? It's kind of just a random blob, right? Well, we're going to. We're going to start playing. And what do I have in front of me today? I'm actually going to, I wasn't going to untie and take this apart, but I am, I am going to. We're going to just set that there. Set that aside. Now I have just my page. It just allows me to work a little bit freer. Um, and I'm going to work with whatever I have sitting on my desk left over from what I worked with before. So I've got this stamp. I have some Distress Oxides. Um, I don't know if I'll use them, but I have some um, shimmer sprays and other spray stains, inks. Um, and I have my Posca pens and my gel pens. So let's... Let's start here. Let's kind of, I have these flowers and I'm looking at that and I'm actually, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch and I'm gonna look for some words. Um, where's my favorite? This is just my favorite set from Jim Holtz. I use it all the time. It would like another um, font stamp. I definitely use this one all the time. And I'm going to use it right here, right now. I'm just going to get some archival ink. I am going to use black. I'm not going to worry about making it perfectly stamped. Make sure I stay. And let's just see. Well, maybe I'm going to worry a little bit. I want to focus a little bit more on the words. All right, let's see what we get this time. There we go. See, I like it's just another layer. It gives it some great pop. There we go. And I can always just kind of stamp this down. My underpaper is going to become something fabulous, always. So just constantly keep reusing things on your underpaper as you're working. All right, so I've already, in my opinion, made that look better. <laughs> uh, and because I'm bringing in this yellow, and I know that the shimmer spray is pretty, like, gold and basic. I'm going to spray this. I'm going to spray it now because I want it to dry before. This is I'm working this separate layer. So I'm holding this up. You, when you're working with shimmer, hear that? When you're working with those shimmer sprays and things, you need to activate. You got to get all that. Here's another one. See all that sediment on the bottom? You got to shake them up until you hear that rattle. All right, and see how it's starting to move. All right, I'm going to go back to this one, and I'm just going to spray a little bit. Oh, that was a great drop that happened over there. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to spray one more time. All right. You see that? I don't know. Can you see how glittery, gold, marvelous it is? I love this one. It is called... Pure Sunshine, okay? Shimmer Spray by Delusions. Pure Sunshine. And for me, it is. I love this. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Look at, isn't that going to be awesome to use for something? And I'm going to come in here. 
No, it's not a perfect circle. I don't want it to be. I'm going to start with a white Posca. Posca is just a paint pen. Um, and I'm just going to go over. I can see that I did some lines, but I was running out. So I'm going to make these darker. And I'm just going to kind of emphasize that. And let's see, where do I want to go with that? Now, Posca pens are my favorite paint pens. They come in different sizes, right? But I did try this Amazon brand. Let's see if I find one that's open. And I'm very happy with these two. Um, Craft Dat, D-A-T, acrylic paint pens. They're, they're pretty neat. They're, they're really nice, actually as far as a paint marker, right? Same thing, get it started. There we go. Ooh, shaky today. All right. Um, I'm gonna keep this one out, but I don't think I wanna put it in there yet. The other thing I love to use, and most of you, if you've been watching me for a while, know how much I love just these um, jelly roll pens. I'm just going to come in and I'm just, so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this random bit, right? This is our bits box and this is a bit from the bits box that I had laying around. And I am just going to kind of create a little bit more interesting piece here. And because I have so much purple here, I am gonna pull some purple in. Um, and maybe it's just in these inners. Now gel pens, when they're wet, just like any other wet medium. Gotta go over some purple there. Now, do I want to keep it circular or do I want to? I think I'm going to cut the flower out a little bit more. All right, and I'm not worrying about being even. I'm just going to work with this flower here and the wonkiness that I have drawn because that's what makes fun art, right? And journaling is about fun. So find any bit in your bits box. And if you don't have a bits box, you need one. You need to get going on your bits box. It's a fun little, I was doing a live one day. Oh, I wish I could remember who it was that said Bits Box and it stuck and I love it. I love it. I could put this underneath, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to keep it singular and I'm going to use this lime green and I'm going to pull a stem and some sides. Now, pulling that lime green down, am I going to use hmm, my Posca? Is my Posca pen going to be enough? That's what I'm wondering. I might, I'm going to have to get in. I happen to have my gesso here, which I absolutely love. It's going to give me a almost like a new white space. So I'm just going to take gesso. And I'm going to just paint that. Okay. And what it's doing is it's just priming this space for me to get in. And I think I'm going to stay very basic, my friends, with my shapes. I 
think that's all I'm going to do. Just going to have a very basic shape. Now I really wish I had my dryer out. I don't, but that's okay. I could use my paint pen. I also have this right here. And I might just use this if I just squirt it down. I don't I don't have I'll just grab my, I don't have like my regular um, palette here and everything else, but I just want to get some of this lime down. There we go. That makes me happy. And typically when I squeeze this one, I know I get a ton out, so I'm trying to be pretty conservative with my paint here. Because I love this color. This is just a... um. Diana Wakely acrylic paint by Ranger. They're cute. They're fun little tubes. She's got good colors. They're easy to grab. See how that green just pops out with that? Super fun, right? So we're going to let that dry. We're going to let this, we're going to play with this a little bit more. We're going to bring in some more of that purpley pink. Let's, let's kind of, um, Sometimes if I do something and decide I don't like it after, I just go back over. Like this one, this this little polka dot thing I'm doing here, I might decide I don't like it. Because I really like the white line, but we'll see. We shall see. I... Don't like it, so I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna just go straight down, pat that off, right up. And I took some of that out of there. <laughs> ah, yeah. Back to the white. I like the white. I really like the white. So I'm just gonna emphasize this again. I don't mind some of the purples in the background, like it's pulling off there, but I definitely don't want that being so primary. Not at all. All right. Let's just put in some of the pink. The, this white pen doesn't love um, going other over other pens. Masking fluid. That's what I was looking for. Or the masking fluid. It gets a little fussy, and that's okay. I just want to get a little crazy with my line here. All right. Again, we're just playing. We're getting that happening there. Okay. I'm liking it. I think I'm going to put this down. Another favorite. If you're new to watching, you who stick. Best ever. I'm going to just come way over here out of where I'm working so I can really get glue. This is, I'm working again, this is 140 pound watercolor paper, so it's pretty thick. So I want to really be sure get it down and my favorite thing to do is to flip it over and kind of rub it down that way right because then I can really get it rubbed and I'm not disturbing anything that I have going on now if I had something on this side I would just put a piece of paper over it and rub that out okay it's just kind of keeps things nice and neat you get things flat and now We can play. I 
as I'm doing this. I'm like, I should have made these stripey. Now, here's the one thing about these cheaper paint markers. Do you see how, how fluid that got? How loose it is? That's the one thing that I don't necessarily love. Right? All right, let's leave that there. Let's put a teeny tiny bit of the darker up in here just because. I like a border. And instead of getting out a paint pad or a different marker, this is a nice dark green color. I can go along the edge ever so slightly, or I could put it down and I could draw a good solid line. I'm watching out because I know that that is definitely still dark. Okay, this is just a good start. Two are making. I love to put my little hearts in different places. So maybe I'll add a couple of those in here. Um, and maybe just some lines. Mark making is huge. Mark making really can bring your journal pieces. from the eh to the wow. I keep laughing because I um I just keep I want it lighter. <laughs> ah, get a green in there. Break that up a little bit. I don't even realize how many little dots I do. But there, I mean, just in that alone, we've got, you know, just a cute little page. I got some art out. I played with some colors. Um... We can throw a little word in here if I want. Um, let's see. I'm just looking. We could just go with the basic. Imperfection. I can put embrace above that. We can just leave it just as is. I like it. And if I want, if I'm really feeling like I need to highlight things, sometimes I do feel like pieces need and other times I don't. This one, I'm going to see what happens. Sometimes I just like a little line. And this one, I'm not even scribbling. This one, I am keeping legit solid. And I kind of like it. Okay. Super simple, right? And you just put it back in your little journal. I could if I wanted. Cut. Take a little snip. And 
just play in here. We can either just glue it or I have a stapler here. If I really want to draw attention to my word and balance it out. Oops. Well, that did not work like I wanted it to. I will have a staple on the back side though. But you know what I can do with the staple on the back side is just cover it with another piece in your journal. Another piece from your bits box. Let's try that again. Uh, this time. I need a teeny tiny little stapler. I used to have one. I don't know where it is. There we go. And then we're just adding, right? It just adds a little fun. A little something. So super easy, right? Super easy, super simple. Little journal page. It doesn't have to even be in a circle. It's just using your um, bits box pieces. It's playing with color. It's just seeing where to go. And then as always, when I hold this up with you guys at the end, I'm like, oh, now I see where I can add this, this, and this, right? I'm going to definitely add some white. I, maybe I'll just uh, give a little splatter with white paint over that, I think, to finish it off. Um, as soon as I finish it, you guys will see the picture. Um, and I'll post it up and it will be here. It'll be on the tube for replay. And that is it. Super, super simple, fun art snacks. It doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes we do simple to get our creative groove going. This, when you, when you play with something simple and learn colors, this of course is, it's got the orange, it's purple and it's the green right? Secondary triadic color scheme, one of my favorites that I work with a lot. Um, here you are learning, learning your colors, you're learning placement, you're learning what you like. And, um, you know, you're playing with different supplies. So we got some gold glitter in there. Um, and it doesn't hurt anything. You got creative. This spurs me on to, Ooh, maybe I want to do a bunch of really simple little floral, Maybe I'll, I'll grab some ATC cards because so many of you have sent me ATC cards. I got to send some back to y'all. <laughs> I'm running out. Um, I need to make more. Maybe they're going to be, you know, little florals like this. Super fun. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in Art Snacks today. I will see you soon. Bye.